Today, I'm going to show you guys how to stream Netflix or any other DRM protected uh, content wirelessly to the extra beam. Now, first thing to note is this only works via using a PC. It doesn't work with a cell phone. And even with the PC, you would have to follow a specific step for this to work. The first thing to do is you would want to go to Netflix first before casting your PC to the extra beam. You want to go to Netflix first. You'd want to scroll through, find whatever it is that you want to watch. I'm going to select this movie right here, which sucks, by the way. Uh, you're going to play it. Preferably, you want to have good internet connection. Now, once your movie is playing, I'm going to mute this for now. Uh, you're going to go to this part right here. You're going to go to your notification. You can click on Control-P or just type right here. And you're going to click on Cast. And then you're going to click on the extra beam. So first, go to Netflix on Chrome. You don't want to use any other browser besides Chrome. Microsoft Edge doesn't work. I don't know if Firefox works, but I know Chrome works. So you want to cast to your PC, I mean to your extra beam. Now, if I go to my glasses, I should see a second display. You see that floating window right there? That is coming from the extra beam. I mean, that's coming from my PC stream through the extra beam. Then the second thing you'd want to do, let me put his glasses on my face, is you'd want to drag this onto that display in your extra beam. Once you drag the display to the extra beam, you see, now you have Netflix on your extra beam wirelessly if you don't follow this step it's not gonna work quick interruption if for some reason you get this page right here you need to uh, refresh and then after refreshing it should work you might have to do this a few times but yeah this should work now once you have it streaming you can you know double tap to go on full screen and you're on full screen now, the next thing we're going to talk about is audio. For the audio to work, I don't know why, but I think it's not the extra beam. I think it's the computer. I don't know what it is because the last time I did this, the audio actually worked. But anyways, if for some reason audio doesn't work, like in this case, <clears throat> you're going to switch from digital output to your computer's speakers. So now the sound should be coming is coming from the computer. Now, you don't have to use the, the computer as your sound because if you're laying on the couch and watching Netflix wirelessly, then you wouldn't want it coming from your computer, right? What you can do is you can connect a Bluetooth speaker like this or a wireless earphones. Uh, and then you can lay down on the couch and enjoy your movie wirelessly. It doesn't have to be a couch. It could be on the bed, or anywhere. You don't even have to be in the same room as long as you have a strong Wi-Fi connection from your PC to the extra beam. And this is how you can stream Netflix wirelessly to the beam. And in this case, you can actually keep your beam connected to a charger and your computer to a charger and watch Netflix indefinitely. This would also work for Hulu or any DRM protected platform. Now, in the case of DRM, somebody in my last comment section was saying something about Xreal or Android. DRM is, is, a, is a protection that the platform, streaming platform uses. Basically, the, uh, Netflix is the one with the issue. Now, it is up to Xreal to come into an agreement with Netflix or Hulu or any of these platforms to allow DRM content to be uh, 
streamed to the extra beam. So hopefully they can come into an agreement and that way we can watch Netflix wirelessly from our phone to the extra beam instead of having to just do it on a PC. Now this would be nice because then we can keep our extra beam connected to a charger while streaming on the phone instead of having to use a computer all the time. My goal is to figure out a way to stream Netflix from the cell phone to the beam wirelessly. Hopefully I can come up with a solution or extra can, you know, release some kind of software update, you know, that from some of the agreement with Netflix or Hulu or whatever it is. But for now, this is the only way I know to stream Netflix wirelessly. And you don't have to have this display uh, on. You can have, you can change, you can change your streaming mode to just second screen only, which is your extreme only. Or you can have Netflix on the top screen while you do other stuff on your bottom screen. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I can do more content. I had to uh, have extra exchange my beam for me. So I haven't had it for like the last two or three weeks. But now that I have it now, I'm going to get back into doing more extra content. I believe I did have a defective unit because the last one I had was constantly running hot. The fan was extremely loud. This one has been a little cool. I mean, it's still warm, but it's definitely nowhere near as hot and it's not as noisy. So if you have really big issues with your beam, you might want to reach out to Extra to exchange it for you. I just received this yesterday, so I am so happy. Uh, and, and since yesterday, I've already been trying some crazy stuff. I can't wait to show you guys more stuff. By the way, I love this right here. This right here allows me to be able to watch content and still have like a little bit of a pass through, but it's still dark enough, especially when I'm sitting on my massage chair. But uh, please subscribe. That way you guys can see more content and you know, all that kind of stuff. It's not just extra that I want to cover. I want to cover anything tech that I can cover on this channel, but take care.